Here you go. So oh, 100 grams of flour, two large eggs, and three eggs. Right. Hi, I'm Tom Parry, and this is my kitchen, <laughs> and I'm going to make pancakes. Now, I know this is a day late, but can't miss out on pancake day. It should be pancake day every day, shouldn't it? Uh, so we need some milk to make the pancakes. And I've got my handy assistant here, Toby Brown, who's going to shout at me off camera. Uh, hello, Toby Brown. Hello. Do you want to say hello? Hello. How to cook with Tom and Toby? No. Um, okay, okay, you measure them. Toby's going to measure them. Do you want to explain to uh, the camera what you're doing here? Pouring the milk. Pouring the milk, that's great. Yeah, pouring the and what, what do you want me to do? How much was it? 300 mil? 300 mil, I think that's what you said. We need 100 grams of flour. 100 grams. That will require scales, and luckily we have some. Right, oh, here they are. Under the gloves. Look, <laughs> under, under the gloves. These gloves belong to uh, my uh, housemate, Matt Boyle. His gloves are now famous. Uh, and mm. here we go. Now we need some flour. Uh, flowers. How many flowers was it? I forget. 100 grams. 100 grams of flowers. Mm -hmm. That's a thousand, that's, a, well, that's not a lot of flowers, is it? No. no. I don't know how many pancakes it makes though. We might have to do double. Okay. Do we do double? Then we need double milk as well. 100 grams. That's 115. Double milk, double milk is fine. So if you look here, Austin. You can see. Austin's our cameraman. Say hello, Austin. Hi. And here we go. So what you need is you need the 200. There we go. That's 199, which will do, because we're not bothered. Are we doing double? Yeah. Okay. What do you think? And I think we should. Because uh, there's four lots eggs of us. There. Crack four eggs into the flour. Yeah. Okay, we'll need some eggs. Back to the fridge. No, no. No, they're right here. <laughs> wow! Thank you, Toby Brown. You've set everything up here. <laughs> it's like it's one of those cookery shows on TV where yeah. someone's come along and they set everything I didn't up weigh your for the flour person. Out yet, though. Ah, it's right. I've got to do something, haven't I? <laughs> it's a lot more professional this time round because you've made memory of the video before about making an omelet, and this <laughs> should be equally as successful. Now, four eggs, and that's how you crack an egg, by the way, mate. That's how you crack an egg. Maybe do it two at a time then. You can do it two at a time. This is how far I've progressed in... <laughs> oh, sorry. That's three at a time. Oh, look at that. Oh. Look at that. And, and no, no shell in there whatsoever. I'm gonna get a close up of that. Look at that. That's how it should look when you put the eggs in. No shell, you see. <laughs> there we go. That's how it goes. And you just give it a mix. As Good Toby Brown was illustrating there. Now, <laughs> what, what, what would you say, Toby, uh, is a good mix? What do, you, what do you need for a good mix? Um, until there's no chunks of egg left yeah, in there. Yeah, that's right, so. Okay, then I'll pour the milk in real slow. And Toby Brown's going to real slow pour though. the milk in. Don't, we don't want a lumpy No, mix. we don't want a lumpy one. That's why you've got to put a lot into this. You've got to put all your love, care and attention into this mixture as you do it. Toby pours the milk in there. <laughs> Thank you, Toby. It's all right. Doing a fine job. Yep, you can get it off the sides though. Look at all that. Uh... Oh, yes. <laughs> a top tip, a top Toby tip there. Make sure you get everything off the sides as you mix. Quite simple so far, isn't it? Making <laughs> a pancake or several pancakes as we're doing this, this instructional video. Uh, hope you're uh, picking this up. That's only half the milk though. That is only half the milk, believe it. Believe it, it's not all going to fit in this jug. It's not. <laughs> it's not going to fit in this jug. So what we're going to do, we're going to find some other receptacle to... Uh, no, we're not. I don't know how we're going to do it, to be honest. We'll just put a little bit less milk in there. Just put a bit less milk in. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know if I've measured this right anyway. And it can get a little bit messy here. Because Toby Brown has poured some of my fingers there. Oh, sorry. But it's fine because that's how that's what it takes. Is that, uh, I was going to do it. It's going to be all right. I've got monkey fingers. Hey. There we go. Uh, we're going. We're going. We're moving. We're moving. And there's my flatmate. The, the the guy with the gloves is here. Wow. This has become a real event now. How oh God. I hear got? this pancakes. I'm excited because <laughs> Tom is a fantastic cook. How to make? He's seen me on the video. 
and he knows what can be played. This is actually very much like an omelette. You've probably stopped stirring it now, it's still bubbly. And that's when you stop stirring it. When it goes all bubbly, you, you can stop stirring and that's a good way to... Thank you, Toby Brown. And we put it in the fridge for half an hour. Half an hour? Mm. What are we going to do while we wait? Cook dinner. Look at those. No, don't put the lumps in there. I'm getting, I'm getting them off. Okay. I'm getting the lumps <laughs> off there. So make sure if you've got lumps left on you, don't put them back in there like an idiot. You know, that's what idiot cooks do. You just want to get it off there and use your hands, get dirty. Oh, get it all off there. And put it in your bin. We're in Denmark, so there's two different bins. There's one for the foodstuffs and one for the... You've got to get that. And one for the... Oh, they're very small. This is household waste, that is foodstuffs. That's living in Denmark for you. We're gonna, we're gonna take a very short break. We're gonna take a very short break and we're gonna come back in half an hour and we're gonna do the next step, which is very exciting. Thank you, Toby Brown. Kitchen assistant. Woo! <laughs> Matt Boyle. Woo! Crazy Woo! Is it Austin just Carlson. A uh, Austin Carlson. Oh, still in there. Sorry. I know, but this is Tom cooking, Tom. You can't appreciate that. This is me cooking. Let's stay out of the kitchen. You're doing a great job. No, it's Welcome back to the kitchen. <laughs> and if you remember, we put the mixture into the fridge for half an hour. It is now approximately half an hour later, and we're going to get it out, basically. So here it is. Here's your mixture. Looking as Wonderful as we remember it half an hour ago, and what we're going to do is we're going to put some butter in this pan. And where's my glamorous assistant, Toby Brown? Oh, sorry. Just, uh, <laughs> just on the sidelines. Thank you. Uh, Always on the sidelines, Tommy. Oh, fantastic! A spoon. What you want to do next? You've got your mixture. You've got your pan. We're heating uh, slightly. You want to light this one on? Why is it? Make sure you've only got one on. <laughs> Uh, we want to just melt a bit of butter in here. What you want is one knob, because two that's is two... Quite, that's quite big. That is two knobs, that's quite a big knob. <laughs> <laughs> what you want is you just want one knob. That's too quite a lot. That's what one knob looks like to me. And then we pop that in there. Yeah. Right? Oh, look at that go. This is quite exciting. You might want to get this on the camera. You can move your knob around on here. You notice it will shrink the hotter it gets. Uh, event eventually it happens. You know, you can't, you can't keep the knob solid forever. And our next step would be to place a mixture into the then hot and buttered yeah. pan. You know, the idea of the butter is so it doesn't stick, because you don't want the pancakes to stick. You might want to stir it again. But it looks a little bit like Angel Delight at the minute. I don't think it should look like that. This is how it might look <laughs> if you're making them at home. Now you can make your pancakes whatever size you like. If you like big pancakes or just small pancakes, it's entirely up to you. Mm, two. I think we're going to go for two. Don't know why I heard a voice. Uh, <laughs> two pancakes. Now here we go. If you're lucky, it will spread. You spread it by moving the pan around. Oh, you move the pan around, actually. <laughs> you know, nothing's based on, it's all based on skill and whatever you... It's quite lumpy. <laughs> there we go. There's a little bit of it, if you, if you notice this, make sure you get it all over there. So, you just want to keep it all even like that. And that is our pancake cooking away there. We've got it on a six, just so you're aware of that. Uh, I think a six is doing us rather well right now. Let's take a little bit of time just to, and then we'll have to uh, flip it over. Right. And if we just give it a bit of a shufty, as, uh, but not too much of a shufty because it can't, can't, it can break. So you've got to be careful. You've got to treat your pancake like you treat your lover. <laughs> <laughs> Don't prod it too hard. <laughs> I think we need a little bit more solidifying. This is a moment that takes time. So when you're waiting, you might want to do a little dancing, a little song. Um, any suggestions for you waiting, Tony Brown? What do you like to do? Or you wait for the pancake? <laughs> a little dance? A little dance maybe, like this? A little dance? Okay, this is a moment of truth, everybody. How good are you at pancakes? Looking? How good am I at pancakes? I'm going to take my watch off. Right, don't know why. And then, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Whoa! Yay. You did not see this! <laughs> no, don't put it back in! <laughs> and it's your first pancake, don't be too harsh on yourself if your first pancake looks like that as well. Because this, believe it or not, is still edible. Like any any perfectly shaped it's pancake. It's yellow, isn't it? It's we used a, it looks like an omelette. We use free range eggs. Uh, but it should be fine, it should be very tasty. Uh, so we, we're nearing the end of our first pancake here. As you can see, uh, I think we've got a, we're in for a treat. Next we're going to show you a little bit about how to serve your pancake. Now Toby Brown has been really kind and prepared us a plate. In fact, thank you Toby Brown for preparing the plate for us. And we we're just going to take this little pancake over here. And Toby, do you want to give us a few tips about how to prepare? No. Uh, not to prepare, sorry, how to uh, season the pancake. What what might you like to put on it? I like butter and sugar and treacle. <laughs> you like butter and sugar and treacle. Tre and uh, tre lemon juice. Um, lemon juice, great. And for the classic pancake, all you really need is lemon juice and uh, sugar, actually. But um, people with uh, exotic tastes like Toby Brown prefer maybe a few more little bits. Because what Toby's doing right now is Toby's like preparing <laughs> the next pancake. I want to And, and let, let's see who wins the pancake uh, <laughs> tossing championship. Maybe you should have a go at uh, next. No, there's pressure now. You've left a bit of your pancake in there. Well, that was, um, that was a bonus for you. <laughs> uh, so if you come over here, Austin, thank you for pointing the camera here. Uh, we've got a little bit of... Um, do you, you want to try this one when I've put this stuff on? Do you? Yes? Yes? Okay, so a bit of lemon, yeah? That's nice. And then a bit of sugar, a bit of sugar. Now, how much sugar depends on you. How sweet are you? How sweet do you like it? Yeah, a spoon like this, uh, sugar. Just give it a bit of a sprinkle winkle, like that. Winkly sprinkle all over. <laughs> and then you can fold it up like that. And this is how we serve them in our restaurant. Uh, <laughs> Oh yeah, I found that funny. Uh, there we are, nice and fork. Austin, I'm going to take the camera off you and I'm going to see your face as you enjoy this. Did you put treacle on it? There's no treacle on it. This is just a standard pancake. Oh. This is what I'm trying with Austin. A standard lemon and sugar pancake. But it's Austin. Austin, you can have a nicer one later. Austin <laughs> doesn't say much. He'll have a nicer one where he has my one. Mmm. <laughs> I can tell Austin William Carlton is enjoying that. He's just a bit shy with these, that's why he's, he's turning his back on the camera. He's, he's a shy boy, but um, he likes his pancakes. How is your coming along, Toby Brown? Well, it's quite good, I think. That is a fantastic. A bit lumpy. That's really consistent. This is what you want your pancake to look like, consistent throughout. Yeah, not so lumpy, though. It's looking great. Fantastic, which is actually, ironically, not what you want this to do. Stick. <laughs> So, as, as Toby cooks that, I'll just show you some of the other things you could actually put on your pancake. This is a great thing that uh, you actually picked up, is isn't right, Austin? Yeah, you picked this up, this is Choco Duo Spread. You can put anything. It depends on what, how sweet your tastes are. Um, what else can you put on? You can put on treacle. Now, this is courtesy of uh, Miss Toby Brown. She likes a syrupy treat. Mm. And here is one in a tin. End of. Oh, that was perfect. <laughs> I missed it! Oh, sorry! <laughs> it didn't it looks perfect! Well. What's it's this? Oh it's, it's oh. It oh my well. lord! It's, it's like a... I don't know! It's, it's, it's like a wobbly booty! <laughs> What's going on here? Some air's got caught in there. Some air the has flip. got caught in there. Well, it's from the flip. This looks bloody fantastic. How are you going to have your pancakes over your ground? Well, there she goes with a bit of lemon and a bit of syrup, is that correct? Who's used the spoon, anyone? No one has used that spoon, either. I think you're safe. Just a little bit of a drizzle? No. A lot of a drizzle. <laughs> no. Not a dribble, not a drizzle. You're going to pour that syrup on. Mm -hmm. Pour some syrup on me. Mm. There we go. It's mm -hmm. a... Ooh, tasty. How is it? How is that syrup, Toby Brown? I don't know. It's good. It's golden syrup. Isn't golden it? syrup. Okay. <clears throat> now this we is actually this is this is. Austin should try a bit of this. So we I can think see we which should one. all try a little bit. There you go. I like the way you're serving the pancake. Thanks. Mm. Ah. 
How is it? What is it? Who is it? I'm very excited about this. <laughs> you just spilled it on top. <laughs> oh, this one's good. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. <laughs> mm. That is a fucking good pancake. <laughs> Excuse my French. Did you just say flipping good pancake? I said uh, flipping! <laughs> Austin Carlson, you're going to flip a pancake. How many times have you flipped a pancake before in your life? How many? Go on, give it some. <laughs> give it some welly. Oh, look at that. Look, no, not that much. That, that's enough. <laughs> oh my lord, what's happened here? This is what happens if you flip a lot. <laughs> you get a floppy pancake. You get a floppy pancake. <laughs> it should be equally delicious as previous pancakes. Austin Carlson's pancake. So here's our next one, and I think I'm going to have a little bit if, if Matthew Boyle can't be tempted. I don't think he'd be tempted if he saw it. I think we've lost him. We've lost <laughs> Matthew Boyle. Now what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to get experimental. Uh, let's try some of this. Choco Duo spread. <laughs> Who's had their fingers in here? I wonder. <laughs> Who's had their fingers in Tim Burton's backside? <laughs> well, soon find out. Maybe not the best idea because this involves spreading, and uh, involves spreading, doesn't it? and uh, well, there's not a lot to spread on. Well, there is, but it's all kind of broken up. I think you can dip, can't you? Dip it. I, I, I can uh, splodge it. Yeah. I'm splodging it on there. Splodger. So, and sing if you want to sing. It's your kitchen. Do your thing. Sing if you. Want. <coughs> Um, let's try a little bit of this one. Good job you've doubled up. Mm. Ah, no, it's not bad. What's your favourite so far, Mr. Number one or number two? Would you like to try some of this? Number one, number two. What do you prefer? Mm. You can you can you can choose Toby Brown over me. I won't, I won't be upset. It's all about honesty here. I won't be upset. Try some of this. Try some of your own creation, Carlson. Try some of your own flipping honesty. Here you go. There you go. Now now ask me. You might want to use a fork. I use this fork though. No, don't don't use your hands, you messy boy. Okay, well, if, if you insist. Now, Austin, you want, you want a little bit of um, history about Pancake Day and why it's called Pancake Day? Because you're you're an, uh, a Canadian. I'm not right? fucking Canadian. Sorry, you're an American. I do apologise. American Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> There's no fucking thing. And uh, you want to know a bit about what where this strange tradition comes from? And I know just a person to tell us. No. Her name's Toby Brown. She was just saying yeah. what what Pancake Day was all about. Yeah. Uh, if she doesn't want to be on camera, we'll just film Austin while she talks. It's before Lent for Easter and you're supposed to get rid of everything in the cupboard that you give up for Lent, I think. What do you think? Good Go enough on. excuse for pancakes? Yeah. So you've actually added a little bit of milk here. Oh my god! Ah! Matthew Boyle! Matthew Boyle! Would you like to try a pancake? We have these uh, different toppings on, if you want one. You can have a bit of lemon, a bit of sugar here. I've had raw. Oh, raw! Just like pancakes. He likes it raw, do you? And then we'll get some sugar. You can use a spoon if you wish. Massage it into it. Matt can probably tell you a bit more about pancakes. Each of their own. Can Matt Ball tell us anything about Pancake Day? About the history of the event and why why we do it? It's the start of Lent, isn't it? It's yeah. Supposed to be giving up sugar. Matt Boyle isn't giving up sugar this time. Well, maybe I will. <laughs> As he tucks in to the Choco Delight there, he's made a little bit of a little chocolate packet there. Choco Delight wins. Mmm. So good. I put my name on it. <laughs> Matt Boyle, everybody. Matt Boyle is a celebrity here in Denmark. He runs his own podcast called Game Boyle. No, it's not a podcast. It's not. He does a podcast with me, Tom Parry. And we do that. It's called Tom Matt Attack. Every week. Just about. <laughs> and Matt Ball does Game Boy or series of Game Boy videos looking up on YouTube. He's a very exciting up-and-coming talent. Austin Carlson will flip one more pancake to 
to prove that he is the pancake flipper he knows he really is. I think Austin needs to make a whole pancake and not just flip it now. Thank you, Toby Brown. That is a great <laughs> suggestion. Austin is going to do the whole process now because he's learned from myself and he's learned from the pro here, we're, we're Toby, Toby Brown. And he's seen exactly what to do and uh, you can do this at home as well. You can uh, be, be Austin and uh, watch Austin Carlson make his <coughs> pancake. That's a lot better there, Austin. <coughs> I don't think we should give him any clues. Okay, no, oh, he's watching. He's, he's watching, he should know what to do. Oh, yeah, it depends on what And knowingly to Austin, this was a cooking lesson just for oh, Austin. Yeah. So Austin can make uh, pancakes every day mm -hmm. if he wants to. Oh, I'm He'll probably put chicken in them. Before his... <laughs> <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Suggesting that's the only thing I eat? Oh, okay, I now Austin, I think yeah. you've got that well and truly buttered now. Uh -huh. Don't uh, give him any clues. Uh, <laughs> don't. Sorry. What's he going to do? He's on his own now. This is a ladle, right? Is this supposed to be like this? Uh, it's amazing Austin films stuff and doesn't pay any attention. Ah, shut up! I think he has secretly been taking notes. I think he has. Uh, I think he knows what he's doing. Austin Pac Man. I think he's going to give a little bit of a, a wishy wash. That's oh, alright. Yeah. Well, maybe. Might want to put it on the heat now, though. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I knew that. On his, on his face, so. Oh. Yeah. so. Everything's done on purpose. Yeah. Yeah. So, 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 how do you feel that's gone so far, Austin? It's a little bit lumpy. It's a little bit lumpy. Yeah. A little bit lumpy. But that's through no all... fault of your own, Austin. No. <laughs> no way looking at me. I think that is the start of a new series here. I think cooking with Austin Carlson no. could be the next big thing. No. Right? I think that's almost ready to flip, actually. No. I'm so flipping excited no. to see Austin hey. flip the pancake. No. Flipping egg, Austin. Oh, God, it's inflating like a balloon. <laughs> Remember, if you, if you want to give deflate it, a... it, just give it a poke. Oh, a jiggle, give jiggle, it a, jiggle. Or give it a jiggle. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. There's <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Oh god, it's stuck. Right from the beginning. Let's see if we can do yeah. a great flip. Oh! <laughs> oh! No! No! Get back in there. Austin will be eating this one. Oh! That one's got some sort of no, curry powder. My sweet child. Oh, that is curry powder. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Curry pancakes. Good to see you, Austin Carlson. Delicious. Yeah, mixing Smell. it up in the kitchen. He's a pro. <laughs> uh -huh. well, I and I think. That brings us to the end of our cooking um, phenomena. Phenomena, yeah. Austin, you enjoy that? Yeah. <laughs> Toby Brown. And all's left for me to say is happy cooking and see you again on Tom Parry Cook Something Else with the help of his friends. Yeah. Yay!